So about 10 years ago, I was suggested to me that I should see a coach. Now, I don't know about you, but a coach to me was someone like that person who made you run around on a football field till you throw up. Has anyone experienced that? Absolutely. Well, the coach this time was a little bit different. He had four or five powerful words to me. He said, Craig, what do you want? And I thought, wow. Boom. I'd actually never thought about that. And I said, you know what, Brian, I'm 45, and I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up. And that started me on a journey. Now, I grew up in a loving family. One thing is my mum always taught me to do the right thing. Now, sometimes that went and meant to me that probably even, unless it was perfect, it probably wasn't good enough. And that was an interesting concept to grow up with. So I did the right thing, and I did well at school, and I went to university. And I graduated from university, and I thought, well, the next right thing is you go and get a job and you start your career. So I set my goals up here and said, I want to be a director of marketing. So I hopped on that escalator of life and said, that's where I'm going. Now, within six months of leaving university, I'd actually married my childhood sweetheart. So I'd started my career and I was married, because now I'm following the great Australian dream, aren't I? So what do you do next? You buy a house, of course, so we get a mortgage. And then you have kids, and then you get a dog. And before you know it, you're actually on that escalator, and sometimes it feels like you're actually travelling on this path, and you don't actually know when you decided to, to get on it. Some of you might have felt like that. So I got to the age of 35 towards 40, and some days it looked like I was going up, and some days it felt like I was going down. And some days I actually didn't know where I was going. So when I got this opportunity to speak to this coach, life coach 10 years ago, he said to me, Craig, you know what, you've chosen a certain path in life, you've jumped on your escalator, but the reality is there's actually many escalators that you want. And you've got an option right now, because it's midlife, and you've heard that concept of midlife crisis. Well, that's when people go out and buy other things to actually make them feel good, like motorcycles and red cars, sports cars. But I took the other option, which is a midlife breakthrough, so rather than going externally, I went internally to decide what I wanted. And he also said to me, you can actually create any escalator you want. Wherever you want to go, you can actually make it happen. And I thought, this is pretty exciting. So I made some big changes in my life at that stage. Now, the one thing about escalators is some of you have probably seen this sign before, sometimes they don't work and they go out of action. And when they go out of action, you've got to take the stairs. And I was forced to take the stairs a lot of times. And most of the times the staircase was a spiral staircase, which was actually heading way down. And I don't know whether any of you had those moments when you don't speak to your children, maybe for a couple of hours or maybe a day or so. Have many of you had the experience where your children don't talk to you for months? Because that's what I actually went through. And I lost my job because I changed direction. And I had people in my family and friends who rejected me. Now, losing money is you know, not that hard to take. And sure, we've all had our hearts broken. But the guilt that you actually get when you realise the impact you've had on other people's lives by the decision you've made, i.e. to leave your children's mother, is a big thing to swallow. And so I did a lot of soul search and I thought, well, what's life really about? You know, I've been talking about these escalators, and then I thought, you know, it's a game, it's like snakes and ladders. Some days you go up, some days you go down. But it's about enjoying all those experiences. And the best thing I learned through that process was, I actually, for the first time, decided what I wanted to do in life. And that was an unusual concept for me to do. What did I actually really want? So at that stage, having made such a big decision to change my life, I felt an obligation, not just to me, but to those people around me, the loved ones whose life has also been affected by my decision. So I worked hard to read books and go self-help and all those courses. And fortunately, 10 years later, I get the opportunity to stand on stage today and other occasions and actually tell people how positive that change in life can be. But I don't look at it ever as a midlife crisis. To me, it was a midlife breakthrough. Because it gave me the first time where I go, you know what? I'm actually making decisions that are right for me, not necessarily right for what other people think. So what is this concept of life? A few people have spoken about it tonight. Well, to me, life is just a series of experiences. In fact, my goal is to have a series of lasting, internally fulfilling experiences. Because what happens in life is experiences, what it means to you. It's not what it means to anybody else. It's actually what it means to you. So I suppose as I look back now on the last 10 years and hopefully the next 40 years of my life, I've now decided to actually take control and take charge. And no matter what happens to me, I know that the next 40 years are the best 40 years of my life. Thank you very much.